Hi everybody, this is Dr. Joe Boria with this week's Health Kick. Um, just got back from a conference down in New York. For those of you that see us directly in the office, you'll, uh, you'll know that I do actually do a lot of traveling. Uh, we actually do our own consulting company and what we do is we put events on uh, throughout the country. We do six of them a year and we bring in outside healthcare professionals to talk about the benefits of chiropractic care and have a clear understanding of a lot of the research. So. Today, um, I'm excited to talk about some research that was shared with us at our last event down in New York City this last weekend by uh, Dr. Matt McCoy. And uh, what we talked about was stress. So with this week's health kick, I constantly see and hear patients suffering from stress, or I, I should say discussing with me that they're uh, suffering from stress. I see stress just in our daily life. Uh, um, Picking up the kids at the soccer or the football game, uh, making sure the kids are fed, making sure everything's done in the house, making sure work is done, making sure you're on time at work, uh, different Fuji, getting along with relatives, getting along with different family members, and, uh, and on and on and on. And it constantly puts the body under stress. So one of the chemicals that actually is increased, that is increased, uh, in, in concentration in the circulatory system is a, is a chemical called cortisol. And cortisol is, re, uh, is released by the adrenal glands, which you have two of them, they're, they're right above the uh, kidneys. So what's all this have to do with chiropractic care? What they did was in 2002, they took a group of people and they put them under chiropractic adjustments. Okay. Then they took another group of people and they didn't do anything to them. And they did another group of people and they pretended that they put them under chiropractic adjustment and um, uh, kind of like a shab adjustment. And what they found was that the people that were under uh, chiropractic care for uh, an extended period of time had lower cortisol levels. So the amount of stress hormone, there's a few of them, but one of them was cortisol. The amount of stress hormone that was released by the adrenals was actually lower in those people that received chiropractic adjustments. So getting adjusted doesn't really change the stress, the stressor, if you will, but it changes your body's ability to adapt to the stress. And that's huge. Now what does cortisol have anything to do with anything, right? Cortisol is released by the adrenals, as I mentioned. And what it's been shown to do is if it's higher in concentration, elevated serum levels of cortisol have been associated with disrupted concentration, uh, individuals suffering from tremors, and elevated heart rate and overall stress. We also know that cortisol, if it increases, it actually increases cholesterol in the body. So yes, I'm saying, so we're clear, that if you get adjusted, that it lowers the cortisol levels, therefore your rate of heart disease will drop it will drop. Now we talked a lot about cholesterol in one of our health kicks a while ago. Why is that significant? Why is that important? Because remember, cholesterol is good for you. It's not the cholesterol that's the problem. Cholesterol is the symptom of a problem. So if you have elevated cholesterols, we know that there's increased stress, both um, physically, emotionally, in the body. It can increase with stresses of the food you put in. Uh, it can increase stress with the physical stress you put your body under. And the, the relationship with that is cholesterol rises in response to that stress or in response to the inflammation in the body. And therefore, you're, it's an indication, it's an indicator that you're more prone to heart disease. It's not the cholesterol that's causing it. It's a symptom that you're more prone to it. So we've got to be really clear on that. And yes, I'm saying that the medical approach on cholesterol is wrong. I want to be very clear on that. I am saying that it is wrong. Um, so we know that cortisol levels are dropped. One other important study, I got my, my clock here so I don't go over on time. My, uh, another important study was on the immune system. Now what they did, this was actually done by one of my professors for immunology in college, so that's pretty exciting. And her name was Dr. Brennan. And what they uh, uh, studied was um, a condition, uh, a condition, a response by the immune system, and it's called bursts. And what they're called is respiratory or respiratory bursts. And what happens is right at the time that a white blood cell is ready to engulf a um, virus, a bacteria, an antigen, meaning a protein that you, you brought in your body, what have you, 
there is a burst, there's a, there's a little extra amount of energy that the cell releases in order to take on that last step in order to engulf the, um, the invader, if you will. And what we found was that those people that were under, again, more of a long-term approach to chiropractic care had an increase in the respiratory burst, meaning that the cells were more energetic and therefore they were more likely to uh, eat, if you will, or, or fight off infection. So, you know, getting adjusted doesn't mean that you're never going to get sick, but we know what we know through science is that you're going to get sick less often, that your infections don't last nearly as long, that when you deal with AIDS, when you deal with uh, uh, the flu and so forth, that it actually decreases the incidence of the flu. It, it helps the person fight off the flu in a shorter duration. So we know that keeping the nervous system healthy allows the stress response of the body to be under much better control, allows the immune system to be under better control. We also know, uh, not to get too complicated here, that if you're under stress, your immune system drops, right? One of the reasons for that is because your adrenal slash stress hormones increase, which suppress the immune system. So by getting adjusted, your stress response drops. Therefore, what? Your effects of stress are better or less damaging to the body, and your immune system's higher. So, I mean, there's no negative effect to the adjustment whatsoever. And I've got a whole list of other benefits for care that we actually reviewed at this conference, but because I'm short on time, uh, I wanted to share uh, those with you as well. Uh, I want to be um, really clear in what we're trying to do with these health kicks, and that is we are trying to educate people towards a better lifestyle. My uh, mission in practice, and practice, and certainly has become much more serious and more motivated over the last couple of years, is because we are now one of the sickest nations on planet Earth, and um, we are getting sicker. Uh, a recent study in the Post Standard, which is our local paper in Onondaga County, showed that the number of people dying from prescription drugs is on the rise. It has increased every year over the period of seven years. The call center for information and uh, documenting side effects to prescription drugs has increased every year. They're actually getting flooded with calls. They don't think they have enough manpower to handle the calls. I mean, that's how ridiculous, disgusting we are getting now with the approach to healthcare. So what we really need to do is we need to find a better way. And that better way is a different paradigm. And that, that different paradigm is really what I'm trying to educate you with, with our health kicks. The bottom line is your body has the ability to heal itself and it has the ability to repair itself. And if you nurture that, just like a sick plant, if you nurture water, sunlight, nutrition, keep away from toxins, the plant will come back. Your body will do the same. Bad news is it's not going to meet your agenda. Too often people have their own agenda. Hey, it should be better by then or this time. If it's been there for 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to take a while to restore. But I can guarantee you by not doing anything right, your body will only continue to get sicker. Uh, so we went over a lot of great information. Certainly share the email uh, slash um, health kick video with friends and family. It's not for people just in central New York. We want to share it across the country. Hopefully save some other people's lives and, and maybe that might be your own and, and your family. This has been Dr. Joe Borio with this week's Health Kick. Have a great healthy week. I want you to eat well, drink a lot of water, exercise, make sure you're getting plenty of rest, make sure you're talking to yourself really healthy here with your auto suggestion and make sure you and your family get regular chiropractic care. Thank you guys. Have a great week.